What up guys, this is Khan and today I'm going to be doing another anime review for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super Episode 130. Oh my fucking god. This shit was lit. I got to tell you guys, it was motherfucking lit. It was lit like I went through the moon and came back. Went through, man, it was just another moon, but I went through the stars and I came back. And I was still lit, you know. I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe it. It was, it, this episode was crazy, yo. I can't believe it. I watched this episode three times. It, it, it's that good. It's just that epic. The, I know where, where epic is so used nowadays. But it's just, it's just goddamn epic. It's so, oh, uh, it was just so good. I gotta tell you guys, it's so, it's so fucking good. It, it, it's just so great. It's just mind blowing you know like my drop that's how good it is it's just like god damn and the fight oh i gotta talk i gotta talk about it i gotta share it with you guys what are my thoughts and my what i my thoughts and my um um the stories and everything what's going on i just want to share with you guys because i <clears throat> i'm still <clears throat> i'm still living in it you know to be honest with you guys it's like damn Episode 130 was hype, it was lit, it was on fire, it was fire, fire, fire. That's how it is, guys. If you have not seen it, I don't know what you're doing. You're probably living under the rock and shit. You know, you need to get up and you need to get out. Whatever you're doing, stop whatever you're doing and watch out with your Dragon Ball Super Episode 130 and get lit, get get hyped, get ha be happy, you know, because they came. You know, I, shit, I came, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, enough of that, um... Let's talk about it, all right? So, uh, <laughs> funny I say that, but it's it just, it, this episode is just epic, and you know, and now that I'm coming off from it, it it's, it's really epic. It's the, let's talk about it, all right? <clears throat> uh, so, the, the, you know, this, this, this episode is still the fight between, you know, uh, um, Jiren and between Goku obviously you know we you know we know that for a fact and you know Goku had master master ultra instinct because he had uh you know you know he have attained the offense and defense of ultra instinct and I gotta tell you I in this episode Goku and Jiren go at it they go at it like a uh, box is going at each other they no bar hold back. They they take hit. They 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 start punching. It's like to me, it's almost uh two really good fighter going at each other. Like two really athletic fighter going after each other. These are not. These are like they're both heavyweight and they're heavyweight in a small in a small factory small form. You know, they're not like Hulk or uh, or um. You know, uh, Solomon Grundy or like that. These are almost like Superman. You know, they're quick. They're quick. Their punches are amazing. You know, the speed and shit like that is beautiful. So the fight is going on, and um, Jiren was able to take a was able to like, you know, uh, beat beat up Goku. You know, uh, um, at one point he used his uh, key or whatever, and he like. He blow Goku away a few times, and there's a few times, and he even used his power. I guess you could say his power beam or whatever, and you know, and a Goku at one point couldn't understand it. He got blasted by it, and then Goku stood up from it, and then Jiren's like, "God damn, why are you still ain't getting up?" And Goku and say, you know, Goku say, you know, I. I have the whole, you know, my whole universe is, is is bearing down on me. My whole universe is counting on me. My team is counting on me. You know, my teammate is counting on me. My world is counting on me. You know, so I gotta make this shit happen. I gotta make it count. Every, I gotta use all my strength. He doesn't say that, but I know that he's using all his strength. Every ounce that he got to beat Jiren. So then Jiren is like. Fuck this shit, you know, your power is, uh, can be erased. Your power is nothing, it's not. My power is absolute, you know. And so he comes out, so Goku comes up and Goku start 
punching. He getting faster and shit. And um, and then one of my favorite scene was like, uh, they're so. Actually, let me go. Let me take that back. So, uh, Goku was able to, you know, he. Goku, there's a many epic moment in this scene. But let me talk about one of them. Where Goku, I think it was it, before or after the, the disappointing event, where Jiren got so pissed off, he transformed, his shirt is ripped out, he's like, you know, uh, everything, you know, he's like, his shirt is ripped off, and he's like, buff as fuck, you know, it's like, kind of remind me of Topo, and like, did he just get a god of destruction? But it wasn't really god of destruction, maybe. Because you kind of see a little of purpleness without the god of destruction symbol in his body. And he's just, you know, whatnot. And he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goku. He was, like, throwing punches and stuff like that. And um, you could tell that Ultra Instinct is a better form. It's a better... I wouldn't say it's a better form. It's not a technique. It's a better form. To fight your opponent because you have your quicker in your offense and defense. Uh, you're just quicker overall because your mentality, your mind is not thinking at that time. Your mind is, is on a different level, you know. That your opponent is still, you know, operating in, in your in their mind. Uh, they're they're are they're reacting where Goku is already reacting. You know, he's always past that moment, past that threshold. You know. And where my one of my favorite moments where Goku punches, he they do like these like wind punches, right? Kind of remind me of hit punches, and he's like boom, 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 boom. It hit, it hit, it hit a uh, uh, um, Jerry in the stomach, and you feel the you feel the punches, and and then Jerry felt it. I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker felt it, and he knew he he didn't think this was coming. Coming to hit him, I was like, "Oh damn!" And I was like, "It was crazy." I thought that was sweet. I was like, "God damn, Goku!" And it's like, to me, it feel like Goku is kind of like a use maybe uses other other technique from other people. Maybe, maybe because that that hit that Goku did, it it hurt Jaren like. And it sort of makes sense because, you know, when you throw a big hit, it does hurt, but it doesn't hurt as much. But when you throw when you when you throw a punch or when you throw a fireball, whatever, and it's small, but if it's precise, it hit where it needs to be hurt. That's more an effective technique, more an effective hit because it hit where it needs to be hit hurt, not where it needs to be. When you know when you when you do when they do a blast, that's kind of like a uh, full body hurt, you know, that doesn't like hurt the internals. But when you hit, like what Goku did or um, hit did, that's like you're hurting the the uh, the critical um, nervous system or the the critical injury part of your body, you know, where it hurt the most, you know. And you know, Jaren felt that. He's like, ah, damn, and he felt it. So, Goku, no, so Goku, and then Jiren was able to take Goku out again. And, uh, like, this Jiren is ruthless. He, ruthless like the motherfucker. Like, he goes in, he body slam him, you know, I guess he does the, the, the two-hand pummel, you know. Go down, he blasts Goku from the back down. I'm like, damn, go, Jiren don't take no losses, bro. He take no losses, he going after him. He, he ain't stopping nothing. And that's the kind of villain that I want to see, or a kind of opponent I want to see. No, like opponent that don't hold no bar, like no hold bar back. They don't, you know, lock behind. They go whole full blown, full blown, and start punching. And I was like, God damn, this is sweet. And even the um, so, so he take down, and then Goku get, and then Goku's like struggling to get back, and then everybody's just a shock. I was like, everybody, no, Goku, you cannot be out. We need you, you know, we need you to survive this. We need you to beat Jaren so we can survive, so we can win this. And, 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 and he gets up. And then Jaren, Goku, and then Jaren's like, you persistent bastard. That's what he said. All right, guys. And he's like, Jaren's pissed off. Jaren's like, motherfucker, why you ain't going down? 
you know, Goku was like, shit, I ain't going now, homies. I'm going to stay here and fight you until I die. That's what he's, that's what he's thinking, you know. My teammates is free. Like I said earlier, his teammates is relying on him. His universe is, is depending on him. You know, even though their universe doesn't know that they're in this fight, but his teammate knows. And he goes after, you know, J Jiren again, you know. And start pummeling and start, like, getting faster. And, you know, starting to be, uh, put the edge on J Jiren, you know. Because, obviously, you know, Ultra Instinct is the better form, a uh, fighting form, than absolute power, you know. Absolute power, it just, it's a really, it's really a, a straightforward path. You know what I mean? It's just, it's like, it's like uh, the Hulk. It's straight, it's, uh, it's brute force. Where Jiren, uh, like Goku is more on the finesse side, more of the uh, uh, agility side, more like a ninja, you know, in a sense, where nimbleness, you know, dodging, moving, and hitting the part that needs to be hit. That's, it's just, that's philosophy is more an effective uh, philosophy to fight your opponent, you know, if you fight on street, uh, uh, strictly on uh, brute force, you're not gonna win all the time, you can't. But when you fight on, the, on a, a ninja philosophy where you need to be, you need to hit, we need to be hit, you know. And one of my favorite, uh, so, you know, cheering got pissed off. I know I'm kind of all over the place, guys, but when Jiren got pissed off, like, at, um, at Goku, and like, why you just fucking stand down, you know? Why do you have to keep getting up? Obviously, we know that he's fighting for the universe, his universe, and then what Goku, what Jiren does, is he blasts, like, a fire, like, a, a ball of an energy toward this, uh, the, the stadium, you know, toward his teammate, and everybody's like, ah, shit, we don't want to get eliminated, because that, fi that fireball is enough to, uh, you know, take out, you know, maybe a few towns and whatnot, you know. But, Goku was there, he saved it, and he like, I ain't no ju hero of justice, uh, hero of justice or anything, but don't fuck with my family, don't hurt my family, and he was pissed, he can tell he was pissed, and he go fucking, Goku went, like, he literally went through all the rock, like, you can see the explosive flow, and you see that iconic punch, Jerry must have, I felt that punch, guy. I was like, oh, damn, my jaw. I was like, damn, yo, oh my god, my jaw just broke, you know, mentally. Like, oh, damn, I feel for Jerry. I felt that punch, Jerry. You, 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 you're getting in, you know, a uh, dentist fix tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that was epic. It was beautiful capture. And you could tell the fist, like, right in Jerry's, like, uh, I believe his right, his left cheek. His left cheek, yeah. Left cheek. And the fight ensued. The it was like the fight was just amazing. It was beautiful. It was fluid. And at one point, you see uh, Goku actually flip him uh, over Goku's shoulder. I'm like, damn, I've never seen that shit before. That's really interesting. You see the fight, and then the uh, the uh, the way the light there, you know, they're moving. You see the light and shit, and you see them coming down. And um, and then uh, Goku actually had him, and then uh. And then at one point, um, Goku punching his sternum right here. This, I think I believe this is your sternum. And um, if, the, if someone punches your sternum, uh, it can like cry inward and then uh, punch your heart. And I'm like, ooh, I felt that too. I was like, oh, god damn, that got to hurt. I mean, he was laying like, he was, Jerry's body was like an arch. Like a, you know, like a um, uh, Ronnie McDonald, uh, the am arch you know like that and goku literally punches and him down i like go oh, damn it holy shit you know like i felt that punch like i feel all the, i feel all the punches i'm like god damn i wish i'm glad it wasn't me you know on the receiving end because you know i would have been okay by the first shot you know so and i thought that was beautiful because they pause it and they color it you see you know him punching it and then goku blasts him down and i was like god damn this shit was good it was sweet it was really sweet actually it was goddamn was sweet as fuck and and that's when you know goku and jaren say you know what i'm done for you know do what you need to do because 
And he, Jiren know that Goku is the better fighter of the two. His form, his fighting form is better, more faster, more efficient, more quicker. It's quicker, obviously, you know. And um, Goku's about to like have this light, I don't know, what's this, uh, light, you know, light ball. And about to like, you know, eliminate Jiren, you know. But then there's a flash like this, like a different color. And then you see like blush flashing out. We don't see it physically. But we see it mentally inside of like Goku's mind, you know, like he felt all the motherfucking pain, you know, and because obviously we know that Goku had reached his God, like his God level or the limit breaking God level, uh, little G, not the big G, little G. And because he had reached, he had gone beyond the threshold of being, breaking the level of, uh, of the, like the, beyond the God of like beyond the God of Destruction. His body just can't handle that anymore because it's strain on your body. He is, after all, still a mortal. He's not an angel, you know, of the soul. He's not a Xenos. You know, he's still a mortal. He's still a human being. So he, he, passed, he passed beyond that point. Almost, I wanna say a point of no return, you know. It's like his body is hurting. You see like energy just like you see his eye is like warping and shit, you know, like he's, he's, he's in a lot of pain. And, um, and in Belmont's like, Jiren, you know, take him out, take him out. It's either him or us, you know, take him out. And then Jiren's like, you know, and you can sort of tell like Jiren's is sort of struggling and, and he doesn't want to do it because to me it's like, that's, that's like one, that's like dishonor dishonorable uh, thing to do when your opponent is down um, when clearly you are the loser because he he actually say hey you know knock me off you know and he got up and then blow him up and blow like he blow uh, Goku down he blow the the, the the I got the ground and and then uh, what, uh, what happened is that uh, I think it was Frieza Frieza actually saved Goku and I'm like oh my fucking god Frieza is still here, and he still is. And I was like, we were all wondering where is Frieza? Where is this motherfucking Frieza? What is he hiding in this little hole? You know what I'm saying? It's like, where is he? And he's like, he came in, and then uh, Android uh, 17 shows up. Android 17 didn't self destruct. He was able to somehow survive the blast. I don't care how, but he survived. I'm glad our boy survived. Our two boys survived. One's a load of evil. Yes, that's Frieza, we know. All right, guys, just lay off the, the, you know, the joke and whatnot. But, so, and then, and then Goku, and then, and Jiren's like, he's a shock. And then he, and then he's a shock that these two guys are still alive, still around, still beating. And he's like, shit, you know. And Belmont is so like, hey, guys, he told Jaren, like, you need to get rid of these guys. Knock them off because we don't have a lot of time. It's probably like, they're probably maybe down to a minute. If I'm correct, only a minute left. And they gotta, he got to make a count and they got to make a count to beat Jaren. So it's two on one right now. Two on one. And, and that shit's going to go down. Not as epic as this episode, but you know, shit's gonna go down. Base form Frieza, base form uh, Android 17, base form Goku versus a uh, mildly depowered Jiren. But still powerful. So we'll see. So, what I think is this episode, guys, epic as fuck. That's all I gotta say. Epic as fuck. I was hype as shit. I was happy as shit. I, I giggled like a little girl. I mean, I was just happy to see this kind of fight, this kind of beautiful animation, this sort of fight, this uh, uh this sort of animation fight I don't really see in a lot of anime. Especially the fight where they're fighting and you see the punches and the the the, uh, uh, the composition. There's a scene where Jiren goes like this and you see Goku's right behind him and Goku punches him. You don't see that shit a lot, especially in Dragon Ball Z or any other anime show in recent time. You don't really see that kind of like, you know, composition, you know, except for fan made, you know, where they really accentuate that. And I was like, 
the the movement, the color, the the way for the uh, the explosion, the way the character move across the building, not building but move the mountain, the explosion, everything just seems so fluid. God damn, so fluid, so beautiful. Uh, the fight sequence it's almost like the fight was choreographed, but uh, choreographed in an unnatural way. Like these were actual fighter fighting for their life. It was beautiful. This episode was, I want to say, better than the first fight between Jiren and Goku. This fight is more, it was raw. It was pure power, pure fight, pure speed, pure uh, 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 uncensored. It's just like, they going at it. Like two bulls going at it. No bar hold back. I keep saying that, but it really is. It's like, these bull goes at it, everything gets destroyed. Uh, literally everything. The whole, like, the whole stage is destroyed. Literally just parts and pieces. And it's just, like I said, the colors, the animation is so fluid in this, in this episode. It's just so beautiful. I mean, I just, I, oh, I just, I, I, I'm kind of lost a word for this episode because the fight and the sequence... You know, and also I want to mention this: that two things that Jiren should have got disqualified for trying to kill the audience. That should have gotten disqualified, right? Automatic qualify right there. I don't know why the Zeno the police didn't catch with that. They say hey, they could have, they could have, what well, they should have done, bro, bro. But you know, I get it. Why? You know, so you know, Goku can save and be part of whatever, whatever. But still, the fight's so epic. Okay. And then also, also, like Jiren trying to take out an opponent is down. That's really dishonorable in my eyes. You know, as a fighter, as a fighter, you don't take down your opponent like that when he's like down. You take when he's up. And when he's, he's up, when you knock him out or he say, you know, I give up, you win. It's those two things, you know, to me. You know, uh, because, because the anime is it, it, a Japanese culture and they come from a samurai uh, um, you know, warrior philosophy, warrior mentality, and that kind of like you know, to me, it's like, hey, you know, you did a dishonorable thing, man. Um, I kind, but I understand, sort of understand, but that's kind of like a dish shit move to me, you know, like, uh, Jaren, you know, I, 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 I don't really like you anymore. Uh, uh, you're not the the boss kind of more. I it's just like his action is really. I understand he's like he's fighting for his universe, but like he already committed, he already said it out loud, like, "Hey, knock me off," you know. He's like laying there. He's like Goku, you know. It's like he's laying there. He's conceding to Goku, you know. When you're conceding on your opponent and then you come back and try to pop him, you know, I was like, "What the fuck, man?" But yeah, guys, I gotta say. Man, this episode is epic. I don't know. This is probably one of my favorite episodes of all the Dragon Ball Z. I think this is most beautiful, most dramatic, most epic. It was, uh, it was, man, I was on high on that Dragon Ball shit, you know. But, it, like I said, guys, you gotta watch this episode to understand, to know what's going on. And you will like this episode. I promise you that. If you don't like it, I don't know what shit you want, man. But, um, now let's talk about what I think what's going on in the next episode. is obviously going to be, you know, like I said earlier, Goku, Fiza, uh, Android 17 versus Jiren. And we'll see how it goes. It looked like uh, uh, 301 might even things out. Uh, we'll see. But I'll talk about that in another videos. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think of this episode of Dragon Ball Super 130? Do you like it? I like it. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. I would like to read, read your mind and your thought all about this episode. All right, guys, and please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse my YouTube channel, guys. Please do so. I would appreciate it. I really would do. And also press that bell button. Smash that bell button. You know, comment how many that's a uh, you know a bell button for me. So that way, when I upload a video, you'll know what's up, what's going on. But most importantly, I want to say thank you so much for watching my Dragon Ball Super Anime Review Episode 130. Go and watch it. You will be hyped. You will be happy. You will hold on to your, your chair. Anyway, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.